Welcome, brothers. Today we're continuing on our quest for auto formatting code. Let me just show you what I have thus far. I'm just going to run this and. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I need to do a little bit of cleanup. Uh, forgive me. So, here's a little section, a little experimental section. I'm going to comment this out just for now. And so we can see what's actually going on. Okay? Alright. So, let's bring out the console. And let's repeat that. And okay, now we're rolling. Okay, good. So, let's check this. And as you can see, we're a little bit better off that we were yesterday. So first off, all of our comments are aligned. I think uh, when we left off, uh, this was this problem was fixed. But you know, I, I retooled it a little, and so now, rather than uh, just cut the just cut the string when it comes to to like the edge of the page, and just continue it here, it will uh, look for a separator for. A, um, for a line break separator, right? Which would usually be a space, but certain other signs are also available. And so you will never get something like, for instance, dang and r over here, right? So I fixed that, which is nice. And um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. But we have a problem, as you can see. Uh, this function, when I collapse it, is uh, swallowing the the functions uh, beneath it. And the reason for that is, and if I can find it, uh -huh. it's somewhere around here. I can't seem to find it. It's a string. So the problem is, uh, it's splitting a string here. Here it is. Okay. So as you can see, it is splitting the line. In the middle of a string and that causes a problem right so you would actually have to do this for it uh, you know you would have to escape that new line and then it would work now I don't wanna um, I don't wanna just paste uh, these uh, escapes on every single line because that that would not make any sense uh, so what we have to do is whenever we're breaking lines we need to detect if we're in the middle of a string because that we need to treat differently and I have a way to do that because I had to write a function uh, to detect whether uh, we have a string in the middle of a given line so that uh, whenever we we were uh, trimming uh, or stripping um, unnecessary spaces on our lines we could um, how do you say? We could avoid doing that stripping inside of a string. So I'm going to show you that function. And it's somewhere around here. Sep uh, C string. Okay. So yeah. This string, it, this string, this function does just that. Okay. And the way I'm using it is um, we have our dspace function, if you remember. So this is what we pass a line through to try and uh, minimize the, the, the number of, uh, of uh, padding with spaces and stuff like that. And if you can um, give, me, give me a second, I, I spaced out there. Okay, so we call our uh, separating uh, function or, or <laughs> well, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the a code a string segregator right <laughs> but you know segregation that's that's uh, that's a that's bad segregation bad okay <laughs> right so you know it, it, uh, it, 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 it segregate so we take that and it gives us a list of indices all right so that's a uh, string seg and it gives you uh, something like uh, Starting position where there's a string, suppose it's, I don't know, two, and then ending position of that string, and then 
um, begin <laughs> not so uh, beginning position of the next string and ending position and so on and so forth it's always in pairs okay unless you don't close a string and that is a seg fault so <laughs> don't do that but um, what where was I um, oh yeah we have to walk through these indices and the way we do it is we say okay so we start at zero right and so we want to go from zero to the first member of a string seg right so this will give us um, code you know like the like the code <laughs> like the code section and then the string section when we go into string uh, seg zero uh, towards string seg one right so this uh, oops uh, this um, how do you say this segment this segment of the line belongs to a string and this segment belongs to uh, it's a piece of code which we can uh, do this operation on this uh, shortening of the line by collapsing unnecessary spaces all right so that's nice but uh, how how do we use this functionality how do we apply all of this functionality into the uh, fill function because if you remember, this is from the very first episode, I think. Uh, I wrote this function so that I could have this, um, these fields prototypes, right? So it's just uh, this sort of like big buffers uh, containing uh, the limiting the space on which you can paste uh, strings, right? So we utilize this, so, you know, for instance, suppose your field is, I don't know, this then you can utilize that field to write to this space and then you know just paste it uh, on the another line right and so suppose you have this uh, long string here something like this and it will take this part and cut it somewhere around here and then we'll take this part and cut it somewhere around here something like that okay so that's what uh, that's what it does and that's what the fields do so fill, not to be confused with fill, so you know, field is not fill, okay, <laughs> right. So what fill does is it takes those, uh, those fields and uh, fills them, basically. It fills them and when it runs out of space, it uh, makes a, a copy of that base buffer and just keeps filling it until, you know, it, it, uh, it, uh, it has filled all of the strings right and that is how we uh, we have been aligning the comments if you notice so this thing this so this space would be comment field and i have a little trick to make sure that it always pads it to the to the right here but that's beside the point so you 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 you, you get it right so you have uh, you have this comment and suppose you make it something like this uh, rip, rip, uh, symbol type key used as filter into table and you put that into fill and fill will give you this right okay so when we're sifting through comments that's all well and good we don't um, we don't care yeah, w whatever uh, we we cut the line but in the middle of a string we cannot cut the line at any point or you know you can but you need to put so this is for for C code right so in the middle of a line suppose you have I don't know whatever this is right and it it uh, wraps around and so you say okay so I want to cut this into multiple lines and what you have to do at least in C is you do this right and you put the new line there and that will work so we can do that but we need to first detect when we have a string segment in the middle of a line and that's what I'm going to do and what I've done thus far is I just took uh, this code 
right from the space, right from the space, and I just, um, yeah, I just uh, <laughs> copied and pasted. <laughs> you know, that one thing you do when you're a software engineer or whatever, uh, you copy and paste. You copy and paste and you uh, search engine a lot, right? That's that's what we do, us programmers and software engineers and architects now. You know, architects, they, they don't code. They don't. They don't. They don't care. <laughs> you know. Please, uh, Uncle Bob, don't kill me. Okay. So, <clears throat> oh, give me a second here. I need to oh, get in my comfortable position. Right. So, I want to do sort of the thing that I was doing on the um, DSpace function. And yeah, uh, you know, get get used to this uh, to this view because I'm gonna stay here for a while while I try to detail uh, what I'm going to do. So the thing is, the way I've made this to work, I'm just going. Um, how do you say? I'm just splitting the line uh, at the spaces, right, and then just looking. Um, is this uh, substring that we splitted from space <laughs> from space is this substring greater in length than the space that we have available right and if uh, if this substring is even greater than the space that we have available on this line then you know, we, we do a, a whole lot of things. Uh, we look for a special symbol with this handy function here. We look for a special symbol we can break the line at, right? And um, and we just create new new lines of space for us to fill until we've uh, consumed the entire string. And here we're just um, assigning any leftovers from this substring. And here is a similar thing, but we don't really have to break the line. We just have to uh, create a new a new field and just fill it with our string hole, right? So in here we're not breaking anything, and in here we're not breaking anything. So there's only one, only one section of the code in which we actually break the line, and it's this baby right here. So this is what we have to focus on. And the thing is, if I could just take the substring and do the um, segregate strings right here and there, that would be easy. But that's, it's, not, it's not so much like that, because before we walk into here, we're splitting the strings at the spaces. And that will include um, any segment which is uh, made of strings, right? So that is a problem. So, hmm, what we're gonna have to do is rather than going um, sub, substring for substring in the entire line, you're gonna have to go segment by segment, okay? So we're going to have to process string segments one way and uh, code segments in another. So, you know, makes sense to me, right? That's a, that's a good thing to do. Because obviously you will not, proce you will not process a, a string literal the same way you process code, right? So, yeah, it makes sense to do it like that. So let's try and do that. And never mind me, I'm just rolling. So, give me a second here so I can close this thing off. And, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, okay, there we go. All right. So, the first thing in order would then be we need to, yeah. We need to just indent this whole thing. And no, you know what? Actually, actually, I 
think I have an idea. It's not nice, but it is an idea, alright? So. I could utilize this function as a wrapper. Okay? And just have a, a bunch of functions defined in here. And just... <laughs> and just do the thing. Uh, just have, you know, like a sub function, like a sub subroutine defined right here and there. Alright, so suppose field code, for instance. And the good thing about that is I wouldn't have to pass it uh, all of these variables. Oh, I wouldn't have to recalculate it, recalculate them. And then I could just call the things uh, whenever I need them. And I think uh, I'm not like, I'm just going to be straight with you people. I'm not entirely sure if that works. I've never done it. But, you know, it sounds funny. So let's, tr let's at least try. Right? Let's at least try to do it in the crazy way. Okay. Let's just indent all of this. Because else, you know, it's just uh, an if-else, and I mean, yeah, I could if-else, but you know what? <laughs> yeah, I could, I could just if-else it, but that wouldn't be quite as crazy as a subroutine, right? We want subroutines. Hell yes, we do. Okay. So let's at least just try it, okay? And what I'm going to do is just <laughs> re-comment this and uh, now this has to go one level below and um, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. give me a second here I'm just trying to make sure that I've done this right. <laughs> yeah, let's fill code and uh, yeah, let's just do it like that. I think it, uh, it's feel, not uh, feel, not feel. <laughs> right, so let's just try it and yeah, not going to work, is it? Ah, that's such a bummer. Okay, but you know what? I I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. Okay. So I can just do it like that. Hmm. Which honestly, it's. Uh, I mean, if I had go to, you know, I'm, and I'm just going to go into a little rant here, side rant. If I had go to, I could just do it like that. With go to, I could do it like that. But without go to, I sort of have to structure the code in a different way. Uh, and yeah, I know, like, oh, go to, go to consider it dangerous. Like, shut up. Shut up. I've used go to all my life. You know, like I, I mean, I mean, go to, go to is the shit, man. I mean, you got, uh, you got a label, right? You just write label here, and you have some subroutines in here, right? And you know, suppose you want to loop back, right? And you can do go to label. And so the logic is, this is a while, right? This is a while or a do while. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, suppose you want to skip ahead, you need an if, right? Well, if you have, if you have to do an if, <laughs> if you have to do an if, if, you, if you're willing to do an if, to like skip this, I don't know, this section here of code and go right into some error message, for instance, right? If, if okay, right, do the thing, else go to error, like, 
is a I, I don't know I don't know you know right you have to do something like this you have to do an if else right and yeah I know this is a tangent but this is a uh, <laughs> this is a uh, this is an important tangent right suppose right suppose something like this right I mean if you're willing to do if else <laughs> if you if you're willing to do if else or you know if error if error return error else you know implicit else return done yeah but suppose you have more than one error yeah now you're fucked now you're fucked suppose you have multiple instances in which you return the exact same thing you're still gonna have a check for each different error right suppose error 2 and error 1 you're gonna say but you know Livronka, uh, liar, man. Uh, I, ca I can just, I can just do the, I can just do the or, right? I can just or everything, right? And so you can, uh, error two and error one. Yeah, you could do that, but suppose these conditions appear at different times. Uh, like this, these conditions, you, you don't have them at the ready at the same time. But you always have to check whenever this condition is available. You have to check and it, you have to handle it. Right? You have to handle it. You have to call some, call some subroutine to do the thing. And then now you, you can't just have it in the function. You cannot just make it self-contained. You have to write another function just to do the error handling for this dumbass shit. Like why not just have go to? Why not just have go to? Put the error handling on the function, and if you have to fail gracefully, just fail gracefully, right? Then have just another layer, and you have to return from there and check the return, and then fail gracefully. No, no, no. You have go to. It's far better. It's far better, and it's far easier to read. You know, I, I know, I know, no one agrees with me on this. You know, I, I'm conscious of that. But so yeah. I mean, go to rules. If you if you if you don't like the go to statement, you can just leave. Just leave. I don't care. All right. So all right, I don't have go to, so I can't just put the subroutine and skip around whenever I need to. So we don't have that. We have to write a separate function. Or just have a massive if else clause, but that will be more confusing. So actually, huh, I'm going to do it the dumb way. I'm going to do it the naive way. In the naive way, and I actually don't need this variable here. So in the naive way, what you do is basically you put your <laughs> you put the how do you say uh, the, 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 the arguments like all of these things you need yeah no I could make it globals as well but that would be even stupid even more stupid so you can put all of these and just send them like one thing right uh, analogous to making a struct and passing a pointer to that. So we can do this and just pass this. And so I'm just gonna do it like this. <laughs> yeah, I know I know I know it's not the best way to do it, but who cares? Who cares? Right? Uh, who cares? This is the way. And I mean, I'm just, I'm just doing it like that, so I don't have to, so I don't have to write it like this, right? Because, I mean, yeah, you know, if, if you if you do the, the the arcs thing, yeah, you can do it like that. But I mean, you 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 save you save on on writing something like this. But nah, nah, that that's. 
I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be calling it like this anyhow. No, I'm going to make it this. Took, took, and send it like that. Right? So, yeah. Easy enough. So, okay. Now we have all our variables on our subroutine, which I wouldn't have to do if I had go to. <laughs> I'm just I'm just going to be a, a <laughs> I'm just going to be angry about that until the day I die. Like why do these shit piece of shit languages do not have go to? Like I don't I don't care. I don't care how smart you are. If you do not see the use of go to, you're a fucking idiot. I I don't I don't care. I don't care how smart you are. If if you are smart but you don't your language does not have go to you're a fucking idiot. Simple as that. So now we have a subroutine or non string subroutine ready to go. Okay. Alright. We have that. Now the if else if else clause and the segregation between string and code segments. Okay. We can do that. Okay, so if not has string, so if not has string, we don't care. We just call this thing and return the thing. And here I need to return the x. All right. And oh no, actually I don't, because it's a list. Aha uh ha! -huh. So I don't need to return shit. That's good. Okay. All right, so that that's one thing Python has going for it. But I mean, if it had pointers, <laughs> if it had pointers, you know, I I don't want to create a fucking class, man. Give me structures and pointers. That's all I want. Okay, so structures, pointers, and go to. All right, give me structures, pointers, and go to. <laughs> all right, and I'll do everything. We just that. That's good enough. Okay. So if we don't have a half string, we just want to do it like this. And uh, yeah, and I would skip ahead to this. I can't do that, so I have to put an else. Fuck you. <sighs> Alright. Let's just do it. Okay. So uh, this this just it fucks with me. It fucks with me having to code without go to. <laughs> it does. It does fuck with my mind because I have to lay out the programs in a different way. It's not fun. This modern way of coding is bullshit. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just old. I'm not even thirty, by the way. I'm not even thirty years old, but I already feel old. Which I mean, for my profession, it checks out. So yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let's let us like the vegetable. Let us. Uh, we have this thing segregated, so all right. So here we don't want, we do not have strings, and so we don't care. We just fill code, and then bx is bx itself. We don't have to return that because it's a list, so we just we can just use it anyhow. So we have to handle the case where we have string segments within our line. So we have to segregate. We've already done that. And uh huh. Okay. So the first run, the, this is the way it works. The first run, it's a non string. The second run is a string. Then the third is a non. Then the fourth is. A string and so on and so on. So it depends on 
what uh, run is uh, divisible by two. So I'm not actually doing this one on the original uh, <laughs> on the original one in the dspace function, but uh, I may have to use it here just to just to know which function to call, right? <sighs> okay. So I actually don't need any of these, I think. Yeah, right, because here, here it is just, um, wait, I'm trying to wrap my head around my own code, by the way. You know, it, you, you, have a, you have a look at your own code and go like, what the fuck is this? That's, that is me right now, no, 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 not, not that badly, I'm just... Um, just a little bit confused by how I should um, apply this lot with you no know, which things I can take out and which things I need so I'm having to try and reason uh, backwards right like why did I do this so I know that this one all right so I know that this one is checking for a it's a boundary check right yeah, because I want to shift the the start. I want to shift the start um, because, as I told you, it's laid out like this. So you know, start, then end, then start, then end. Right. So this is where the string segment begins. Here is where it ends. Here is where it, the next string segment begins, and here is where it ends. And so between these two, you have your um, your code segment and between these and uh, string length you would have your code segment your second code segment so before trying to update the next start point all oh, right because this is not the next start point this is the <laughs> well it's the start point of the next string segment but it's the endpoint of the code segment, so <laughs> that that's a little bit twisted. You have to you have to sort of wrap your head around that. But yeah, so I say if so, I boundary check, and if we pass that boundary check, which means that we can add to one and not um, and not walk out of uh, the and not get an index error here. then we want to get the next value onto here and we'll use that as the as the end of our code segment right so i'm just going to annotate this here oops i thought i was doing c so start is uh, beg and beg is for begin so beg string seg and code seg right and and is the other way around so and yeah I know I know I know and and would be the end of the string segment and the oops and the beg beginning of the code segment all right But this, um, hmm. this is only true after this point, right? Which is where we um, we process the current segment. So the logic here is quite twisted. <laughs> no surprise. <laughs> no, no surprise. I didn't know what to do at first. My logic here is quite twisted. I must have been very sleepy when I wrote this. So, <laughs> you know, it's a thing that happens. So, 
Let's try to make it work. Let us try and make it work. So. Here we're trying to get the next code segment. And if we're at the right at the end of string seg, then we'll just look towards the end of the string, the, the line itself. We say that our sub is, and yeah, this would be S. So this is the, the segment, and I'm gonna call it seg, <laughs> just so we're clear about that. So seg and, oops, seg and seg. Okay, and this is S. So let me uh, let me get right. So this would be code segment. This would be the code segment, and I'm just going to go into the original function and uh, <laughs> so this space. And let me see how I uh, how did I define L1, right? So this is what this is the code this is the code segment right this is the code segment and then the string segment is what's between end and the new start right so it's the other way around it's the other way around okay so I got <laughs> I got really confused there now now I now I fixed it okay so let's uh, fill. Right. So time to fill. Fill. Okay, so the code segment. Let's put it here. So start and. Now suppose. Uh, you know what? I don't want to do it like this. <laughs> I don't want to do it like this. This is very confusing. Let's just fuck this. I'm gonna do it from scratch. It's too much. It's too much and it's a bad idea. It's always a bad idea. So let's just do it from scratch. Um, and I'll revise the, the logic on the other one, which, you know, it works, but the logic is so twisted, it's worth it to review it, probably. So, okay. Let's just go in twos. And that would be, yeah, okay. So we know that we want to uh, do a little bit of separation here. So let's actually do that, right? So back code and encode and let's just do it zero zero right and let's let's just initialize them to whatever and this would be string and string and yeah so okay we know that beginning of string is string seg zero and um and string actually this will be i Sorry. And the next one would obviously be i plus 1. Alright. Where does the code end? The code... Um, the code would end at the beginning of the string. End. <laughs> now, where does the code begin? That's the question. Where does the code begin? So we can add, so what I was doing in the other function was I was just taking this and whenever I was done uh, processing, I would just say okay, I would just readjust the the code beginning to the string end, right? But we cannot do this in the first run, okay? So that's the tricky part. You cannot do that 
on the and I'm actually going to break this into two lines because it's confusing. Yeah, I never I never liked assigning like that. Okay. I should actually stop <laughs> I should actually stop aligning things so much because uh <laughs> because then I will have to rewrite this entire program just to align things the way I like them and that's going to be a nightmare but we cannot readjust the beginning of the code segment at this stage we need to do that at the end so I'm gonna just leave a comment here just uh, proc to, you know just to know that no wait let's do it let's do a do stuff right so do stuff and after we've uh, do, did the stuff right after we processed these segments then we can assign a new beginning to the code segment which is always going to be the end of the previous string segment okay all right and then after we're done and then after we're done, we can just say that the we can just reuse the the beginning and then end would be uh, length of uh, s. That would be our, our line, right? Yeah. So yeah, okay, that works. That works fine, I think. Yeah, that 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 should work. And so we know that on the last run, we will have a segment, a code segment, a code segment that would be s uh, beg code to uh, end code, right? And if the length of this segment is non-zero, then we want to just fill code okay all right so far so good now we're gonna have a little bit of trouble and i just noticed this and i just noticed this there is a problem there is a problem. <laughs> because when we update all of these, we need to we need to know in here it doesn't matter because we're just doing it in one run, right? But here we're going to be sharing these arguments between two functions right and they so after a call to fill code we might need we will need <laughs> these values except you know the list the list it doesn't matter but these values we will uh, need at least maybe not the string but uh, this tree for sure Huh. So maybe, maybe let's just do, let's just do, um, no go to, <laughs> and that's appropriate, right? So no go to, and let's just make it this. You know, I mean, yeah, this is this is dumb. This is dumb. This is really, really dumb. Like, uh, probably if you show this to a, you know, quote unquote proper uh, software engineer or programmer, or, you know, whatever, you know, like uh, someone who actually went to college, they would tell you, no, 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 no. You got to create another layer of abstraction. You need more abstraction in your abstraction. Put some more abstraction in your abstraction. And they will have you, you know, like make a class and have private uh, attributes, which, uh, you know, at the level of assembly, they are accessible anyway. But wait a minute.
Alright, so someone knocking at my door. Every time I'm recording, someone knocking at my door. Okay. I was... What what I was talking about? Oh, yeah, right. Like, uh, stupid programmers, yes. Uh, they will tell you to make more classes and uh, make more classes and more abstraction and blah, 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 blah. If you have go-to... <laughs> And I would just keep, and I would just keep talking shit forever at infinium. Okay, so, so now I can update this. I'm just going to, so fill code, and it's going to take no go to, right? It's going to take no go to, and what we're going to do is just um, up and return no go to. And that's that. So yeah, you know, I, uh, I guess I... Well, I mean, I don't really have to. I mean, I could just... I could just do this. I could just update... Since it's a list, I could just update the list and return nothing. Which actually would be fun. And yeah, I know, like, the, the string here... I don't really have to rewrite that. Doesn't matter. It, like, it, it really doesn't matter. So this is just the, you know, like the stubborn way of doing it. Because you know, I, I I make fun. I make fun of all the programmers who write code, you know, quote unquote, more neatly than I do. But you know, they have a point, right? They have a point. Um, when everyone does things a certain way, they don't do them uh, that way uh, just because, right? It's not that there is no go-to just because we hate go-to, no. Th there is a reason. Because people are stupid. And uh, they will abuse that and uh, write code that it's very difficult to read. Now the thing is, uh, because they took that away and imposed another way, <laughs> you know, another... Um, paradigm, if you will, another programming paradigm is imposed by the uh, features of the language or the features that it lacks. You need to think about it in a different way. That's basically what a language is. It's uh, a different way of thinking about what you're doing. And the way I think about what I'm doing is definitely non-Pythonic. So yeah, I, I shouldn't complain about the language. I should write my own language, which actually I'm doing. So yeah. All right. I'm going to stop going into tangents and actually try and focus. Okay. So I don't have to update no go to. I just have to send it. And the function will update the list. Which should, maybe, okay, maybe, it should maybe work. Let's try it, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? If I have to write a class, or, you know, like a data class, right? You, you know that? Uh, data classes, you know, you could just have structures and, you know, and call it a structure. Now, we have to call it data classes so fucking stupid anyhow <clears throat> if I had to do a, a data class for this I would do it but I mean it's it's such a it's such a dumb thing I don't think I should but let's get our code segment here and our string segment okay and what we want to do is just change that and the do stuff it's now here officially so now we have both segments and for the code segment we just want to repeat this and I guess we want to do the code segment first why not and then if length of uh, and actually I, I don't think this would I don't think this is necessary yeah, no, it isn't. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna fill that in, okay. So, yeah, why do we have to check that the length of the code segment 
<laughs> Why we have to check the length of the code segment, but not the length of the string segment? Because it might uh, begin somewhere like this, right? So we have a bunch of string here and a bunch of code here. And on this run, right? So we're assuming that there's code here. But if there is no code here, then we begin at a string. And we only process that string. If we have code, then this check is passed. And so we, we process the code first. If we have no more uh, string, so in the case where there is uh, no more string on the next run. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> right, no, if, there's, if there is no more string, then we'll fall into here. Right. So yeah, I was right all along. Okay, so. Uh-huh, let's format this a little and um I like it more like that and I like it more like that okay and maybe more like that yes okay perfect perfection so we need to actually write this function now okay now the way I'm going to break uh strings is going to be much more simple sim simpler all right because, like I said, uh, you just you just cut it, whatever, put a quote there, a new line, and that's that. So you know what? I'm not going to bother with something this complicated. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look for um, for anything specific. So actually, I can simplify this quite a bit. Hmm. To string now go to and now go to and I'm going to iterate just um um I'm just gonna go um, uh, try and fit the whole thing maybe or should I go char by char I mean if I go char by char it's easier to type so yeah as for uh, see in s and um, I want to keep everything, so just if false, and yes, I'm just copying here. Yeah. Uh, if false equals start, then we want to uh, do this bit here, yeah. right? So this is just if I don't have enough space, just give me more space. That's all it's saying. But here, instead of going. Uh, word by word because we can't really split uh, we can't really split in the middle of a string so we're just going to be to go char by char and actually you know what nah 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 I can just huh I could wait a minute So I might have to right. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Give me give me a second here. I just realized something. So no go to here is valid because we need just this. But in this case, not so much. In this case, not so much. So let's actually update this field. With our segment because else we're just sending the entire string that's <laughs> that's no good that's definitely no no good so let us let us uh update that that would be what uh zero one two three four okay so over here we need to do no go to for yeah and I'm just going to so this would be the string segment okay
Okay, so now that should work a little bit better, I guess. Ah, fuck. I need, I need trim. I need trim and cap. Yeah, I need fucking everything. God damn it. So base, trim, and cap. Okay. Let's just fucking copy and paste this shit. Uh, yeah, I know. I know this is terrible. I know this is terrible. I'm just stubborn. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. It should not be a copy. No go to should not be a copy. So. Hmm. The more I think about this, the more I, you know, there's this voice in my head saying, do it the Pythonic way. Create a class. No, it's, it's more like the Java. It's more like the Java pleb way, right? You, you create a class for everything. Like, for running the program, you write a class. That kind of stupid shit. Yeah. I don't like that. Anyhow. And why not? Let's just... To the inverse over here. Okay. Alright. And uh, the way uh, I, I just face palmed right there for a second because. Uh, oh no! Ah, so I don't need trim. Well, fuck me. Right, so tr let me explain that real quick. Uh, trim is uh, it's just a check here that. Um, how do you explain this? It helps you break lines in a specific way. It breaks the, the lines after uh, the, the entire thing has the entire thing has been pros processed, and it takes away the any um, how do you say it? leading leading or trailing any space left behind on the right side. It just takes it. I don't know. Actually, it takes out all space. Eh, that's okay. So yeah, that's trim and we don't actually need trim inside of the call because it, it only takes effect after the, the the entire line has been processed so okay so I waste my time there but I need base and I need cap so yeah and cap is like uh, it's like a subtraction because you know you have suppose you have a buffer here suppose this is a buffer and your starting position is basically this, and this means that you don't have uh, these bytes over here to work with. So, tuk tuk tuk. And then cap is the same thing, but on the other side, right? So it it limits your uh, your drawing space to this. That's that's what it does. So let's code this thing out once and for all. And let's take trim out here. Okay, let's just erase this. Okay. So what do I want to do? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I know how much space I have, so I just want to cut the 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 segment into um I just want to cut the segments into as many pieces as I can fit. So that would be I need the additional byte two additional bytes for the quotes. Um let me think here. How would I do it? That would be length of segment over space, right? And cap is discounted from space, but uh, I just included it because if I remember correctly, I used it in some calculation over here. Or maybe I didn't. Hmm. Well, maybe I didn't. I, I, thi I think I did. <laughs> Looks like I actually did not utilize cap. 
Well, so that's a waste of time. Okay, let's just get rid of this then. Okay, so it was completely unnecessary and I freaked out for nothing. I, jo I only needed base. And base is the... Um, how do you say? It's the field, right? It's the, it's the, the starting buffer you utilize to uh, initialize every line. Okay, so... Tuk, 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 tuk. Let's get rid of cap because cap is useless. Yeah, fucking wasting my time all day long. Wasting my time, no life, no friends, no nothing, and no time. Okay, so length of S over space. That's good. Length of S over space, and what does that give me? Hmm. So I'm gonna say uh, bits. Wait, I should do it minus one. No, 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 no. Because uh, I need to compensate one byte for every uh, double quote that I need to add. And I need to add one where I cut and another one at the start of the next cut. So it's not so straightforward, actually. If I can subdivide... So let's do space minus one, because I, I know I need that additional uh, byte. Um, so... Hmm... Okay... I would make this um, count, I guess. That's okay, yeah. That's okay. So that would be the count, of the sub count. Right, sub count. That's good. So, sub count, if I know how many I have, and let's just make it one plus. Why not? Because if length of uh, string is less than this, then it's. And actually, this is Python, so I need to floor it like a man. And once it's floored, yeah. So the the idea is because you floor this division, uh, if this is less than this, it's just going to give you zero. And if it gives you zero, you get no iterations, and that's no good. So. What I would like... Well, I mean, actually, uh, every iterate for every iteration, I get uh, a size of space minus one, or however much space is left on S, right? So, so for I in range of sub count. Let's just say, let's say that sub, that sub is, what is sub, man? What is it? Um, is it like, would it be S? Do I need a, hmm. So, oh, I have no position. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. All right. So I need to add this. This is this is frustrating. I should have written a class. All right. I give up. I should have written a class. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. You know, I, I get I get it right it would be better it would be way better if I did it this would be way easier to modify right that that's the sort of the, the advantage you get but I don't want to <laughs> give me a structure and I'll do it give me a data class and I won't <laughs> I mean, wh why in the name of fuck isn't it a, a, a baseline? Uh, wh wh why, why does Python have no struct? Why in the name of fuck? 
does it not have struct? It boggles the mind. I mean, are you stupid? I mean, I, I would forgive you if you were stupid and you didn't know. But that, uh, it's just so fucking idiotic. Why no structs? God damn it. So, okay. Pass, comma, pass, 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 pass. Let's make sure that we have it everywhere. And yes, I keep on wasting my time. Yeah. All right. And so, now let's do this. So, position. This is within BX, right? So this is the sort of the buffer where we're um, where we're putting everything after being pro after processing it, so to speak. Um, so I need a way to know how far into the into the segment I have been. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do J. <laughs> or maybe sec pass. Hmm. Why not? So sec pass. And yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know, I I I complain a lot. I complain a lot and do things that uh, are non standard. I get that. Now the difference between a regular programmer and me is that I can do things in a non-standard way and get away with it, okay? Most programmers, they're afraid of what I do because they could not make this thing work. And I get it, it's bad practice. I, 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 I'm fully aware of that. Because basically, when you do non-standard things, it uh, you you're basically making it diffi more difficult for everyone to understand what the fuck your code does. I understand that fairly well. And if I'm working with a team, there is no way in hell I would do it, I I would be doing this kind of uh, fuckery thing I'm doing here, right? So if I was working with a team, I would do it the way that the team prefers it. But because I'm working solo and no one watches these videos and no one reads my uh, my code, why the fuck would I care, right? So yeah, I'm just talking to the void. So yeah. <clears throat> just addressing that little detail. All right. So we've been recording for an hour and 7 minutes. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay. So basically, current segment position. Segment position. <clears throat> no. Sorry. Plus, uh, let's say. Ah, uh, why not sub end? Why not? Plus sub end, and we're going to say that sub end equals um, space minus one, space minus one if. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, no, wait. I can do it like this. If the remaining, the remainder. If the remainder, if the length of the remainder, that's bigger, uh, bigger or equals actually, than the available space, then we want to take a, a sub segment this big, and we will subtracting the one so that we can add that extra byte for the quote for the double quote. And else, what do we want to do? What do we want to do else? Huh? Hmm. Let me think about that for a second. I would say that else, we just want this. 
<laughs> right. That was easy. Yeah. Don't think too hard, kids. It's not good for you. So. Sec position plus sec position plus sub end. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Alright. And now. Let's advance sec position times um, our. Um, what, what was it? Sub. Uh, was it sub end? Yeah. Yeah, why not? So let's advance it times sub end, and our sub string would just be this thing plus. Uh, a double quote and then on the second run we need to add a uh, like a tail if y if i right <laughs> i'm sorry i get confused i and y it's basically the same thing to me <laughs> it is basically the same thing to me but <laughs> you know language thing but um i and y and if i if i right like i if i else null string and I guess I want to do it like this just to be absolutely clear about what is going on and no spaces after this and uh, yeah we're done okay all right that's good that's good enough yeah so will this work that's the question hmm I guess so. Maybe. Doesn't matter. If it doesn't work, I just get mad and lament that I did not use a class. <laughs> you know, like the, the regular thing. I just go on another tangent and uh, work on this piece of shit for another hour and so. Like that's my like that's my life. If I didn't like writing code, uh, I would not do it. But I love writing code. That's the thing. You know, I I don't agree with this uh, stupid idea that um, that as a as a programmer. Everything you do, like like your only hobby, hobby has to be uh, writing code, or reading about code, or or whatever, or thinking about code. Um, I I, th I think that's uh, that's not very smart, right? Like, it can be just a profession, and you can have hobbies outside of your profession, right? Uh, that, that makes perfect sense. Now that being said, I. I am I am definitely the kind of guy that only only likes to code. I, I just want to code. That's that's my thing. So yeah. <clears throat> like, uh, <laughs> like uh, yeah, like yeah, I mean some uh, some from time to time I want to take a break, right? I take a break for a couple hours, but if I'm not coding, I, I don't feel right. I mean, this is my life. This is my life. And it's been for the last five or so years. I used to be a musician. Can you believe that? Anyhow. I just thought up of a problem 
that I did not uh, something that you know ju it just sort of slipped my mind, you know, <laughs> and that um, I do have I do have to uh, create to expand the buffer. So BX is sort of like a buffer, right? It's where we're fitting our uh, our, our strings and broken lines and things. And we have to extend this every time that uh, we exceed uh, the space thing here, right? So every time we, we write a... Every time a position equals space, we have to expand this, right? So that is one problem we're going to have. Hmm. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to do this in the what I feel is the easy way. Okay, the easy way to think about it, which is simply if position equals space, then do that thing. Okay, now this gives us a problem. What if the first on the first run, suppose uh, on BX we have some some code segment here and here comes our string segment and uh, this would be a line right and the next line would be here and we're trying to fit an entire substring on the on what's less on what's left of the current line would it be worth it to just always ignore this and just in, you know initialize a new line like fresh I think it would I think it would make sense because um, I don't know reasons <laughs> right so yeah I'm just I'm just gonna do it like that I'm just gonna do it like that so on the first run we're just going to extend and then on every uh, subsequent run we're going to extend again Okay, good. So, and this if, um, it's just going to be, um, how should I, oh yeah, sub and equals space minus one, okay. If sub end equals so if the if the space we utilize is the total space available and and this is not the last run so and y is less than uh, sub count minus one yeah so this will only run up so even if this condition is true if it is the last run then it will not enter here so yeah that should work and let's not forget the colon the colon let us not forget it let us like the physical vegetable so um yeah yeah i think that's good I think that's good enough. So, okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna switch over to the console and oops, give me a second. All right, good. I'm gonna jump over to the console and just play, <laughs> repeat this command, and yes, we have errors. Oh yes, can you feel it, baby? All right, so it's because uh, it's not like this. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, man. I think uh, that's what you do when you utilize it, when it's like a return thing, I believe. Doesn't matter. <sighs> right, so I deleted the um, uh the asterisks there. So that's what and ah, we need to update uh, the pad. We need to update the pad 
and assign this thing. Okay. So. <clears throat> I would make so position would always be L start, right? On every run, position would go back to the start. I would just do that. L start, and if we create a new one, then we want to do this and expand our pad. Which is simply how we know on which line we are. But um, actually, let's just expand the pad always and leave it at that. So, pad plus equals space. And position would be plus equals sub end. Which. Um, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Hmm. You know what? Forget about it. I'm just going to increase the pad. And I won't touch that. Okay. Yeah. That's good enough. So we need to extend the pad on here as well. Okay. So pad plus equals space. Good thing I had that bug, uh, that bug, you know, quote unquote. Good thing I made this mistake and the console told me because that made me realize that I was missing this part, yeah. So, we need to actually, before we increase the pad, we have to say um, that's bx at position, which will be start, but it's not guaranteed to be zero, so we need to just use this. So position plus pad and that would be after that would be pad plus space okay and that is our segment or what oh I just called it sub okay doesn't matter so our sub would be actually let's call it seg or now okay so and then Let's call this sub. <laughs> let's be. Let's try and be consistent, okay? From time to time, it doesn't hurt, right? Because I mean, I do non-standard shit, but I understand that uh, I need uh, my my code needs to be readable, right? I, I I do understand that. And like I said, the amount of non-standard shit that I will do, uh, it it it. it is relative to who my teammates are and right now I'm not in a team and so I'm the only one working on this no one cares no one gives a shit and so I will just do whatever I want good okay so we assign this I believe that should do it I believe that should do it Oh, and I noticed another mistake. So these should only um, go in there if this is not true, right? Or rather, if sub end is not equals to the length of the of the segment, right? And I realize, uh, you know, uh, I should have, I should have stuck with segment, but well, if sub end is not length of right. So, if our endpoint is, um, oh no, 
I can't do it like that. I have to. No oh, way. Oh no no no! Forgive me, forgive me. Okay. So yeah. So our our end point is essentially a length. Okay. So if our length is uh, not the length of the remaining segment, then we know that we need to put this uh, this tail. However. On the, uh, if that is not true, then we know this has to be a null, a null string. Why? Because if we have a string here, and suppose we cut at that point, what are we going to do? Well, when it's the first, in the first time we cut, we know we want to put that thing in there. <laughs> but if it's the last time we don't but if it's not the first one we want to put that one there and if we had a middle one here then we want to do both right so that's so <laughs> this uh, two checks us basically how we how we do that all right so now let's try it and see what happens right how about that? And we have an error. Okay, great. Alright. So I missed a bracket. That's that's fun. That's fun. I missed the bracket. Ha ha ha. So funny. Suffer engineer. Okay. Alright. Another exception. That means progress, alright? <laughs> so line is not defined, yeah. So it's 185 good so 180 oops not here 185 and yeah this should be s so let's scan this here a little uh, i think that's okay okay good let's try again another exception different exception we're making progress right <laughs> So, out of range. Okay. That. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Uh, that 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 is interesting. So wait. Let me see on which. One hundred ninety-eight. Okay. So alright. Let's do some debugging there. And it's yeah, all right. All right, let's wait. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do some debugging there. Here, rather. Let's do some debugging on this because this should not happen. Hmm. This should not happen. You know what? If I plus one greater or equal than length string segment, then we want to print the uh, entire line, okay? Okay. Yeah. So um, you know what you know what this is. You know what this is. This is a comment. <laughs> this is a comment. This is a comment that has a literal uh, quote, double quote. It's recognizing that as a. Um, as a string segment, it is not. So um, we're gonna have to do a little trick here.
you're gonna have to do a little trick. And I am not proud of having to do this trick, but um, it leaves me no choice, right? So, I'm just gonna just come and LCM, okay. So what I'm going to do... Basically, we say uh, a line has no string literal segments when the return value of, um, of, of separate string segments uh, when the length of that is, uh, is non-zero. When it's non-zero, then we know that we quote-unquote know that we have a, a, a line with string segments. However, the way that this function works is just looking for, for, qu for double quotes. That's all it does. It's looking for two matching double quotes. Now, it, it doesn't know if the line in question is a comment. It, it doesn't know that. It does not know that. So, why not, right, like, like, hear me out, why not just say, okay, if base equals com field, so it, it would mean that it's, we're utilizing the basis buffer for a comment, or base is equal to LCM field, which is the same thing, but a comment on a whole line then we know we know that whether it, it detects something that it thinks is a string segment doesn't know that doesn't matter right so doesn't matter and so it doesn't matter so we want to do this thing and i guess multiply it by not by not this whole thing okay that's fun. That's funky. That's funky. I like it. Let's do some more of that and put this thing here and uh, close it off. And why not? Let's just do that. Okay. And um, yeah, that looks confusing. Because this is like, I'm saying not all, right? Like, uh, your, your your eyes just go straight into that sweet, color, colorful expression. So I'm just going to leave it on one line. Just to be annoying. Okay. Yeah, I mean, let's try that and see what happens. Ha! <laughs> and then it works. Magic. Magic. Alright. So. Okay, so I'm in the middle of recording and uh, <laughs> I just I just had like a mind fart. Uh, I realized I don't know if what I just coded, if I actually showed it, right? Like maybe I left the console open like that went into the editor and didn't notice <laughs> that I had cl <laughs> you, you, you get you get what I'm saying right so maybe I, I didn't show the editor what I was coding but um... <laughs> and now I don't know now I don't know so yeah because I only have one monitor so I sort of have to guess right so yeah problematic well, but basically I'm just I'm just doing a check and now it com it compiled quote unquote it run the code run so let's actually check it and aha uh, uh -huh. this is wrong <laughs> oh my oh my god what happened Oh no, that's that's not right at all. That's not right at all. Uh, 
Okay, but can I close it now? Okay, so it broke everything, basically. So I broke everything, basically. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you, ha you have a... Um, how do you say? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit tired. Um, so whenever it encounters this, it's just, hmm, I'm going to break this shit. And so for every time you have a a string segment on your on your line, it just tries to break it, and yeah, it doesn't quite work, right? Doesn't quite work. <sighs> okay. So yeah, you can see here, it sort of works, right? It sort of works. But this, it shouldn't be here. This shouldn't be here, right? It's a new line, mine. And actually, it apparently, it ate up everything that came before it. So that's no good. So uh, let me just try uh, disabling this always and see if it still uh, does this. Okay. Okay, yeah. So then the one problem we have is the same we had before. In which a string over here is being uh, is being broken like this, and that obviously is not going to work. So yeah, let's expand and go back here. <sighs> okay. So. So this is just so that it it won't uh, separate the defines and let me just check that it actually works. What? Get the hell out of here. If S is nothing, just return and fuck you. Return nothing. If it's if it is nothing, just return nothing for fuck's sake. That's not so complicated. All right. So now it doesn't do that. Let me check that taking it away. I can actually comment it out. Yeah. Good. Okay. That's one point for Python. Good. And yeah. All right. So it actually fixes what I wanted it to fix. So cool. All right. Let's run this again and check. So it won't break that. It won't think of this as a string segment. Okay, good. Okay. So. <clears throat> oh, you know what? There is one corner case which I'm not going to handle. And that would be when you have a, a thing here that wraps around. I'm not going to handle that because if you include... If you're, in, <laughs> I mean, you have like 50 characters over here, somewhere around 50 characters, maybe a little bit less. But I mean, if you cannot fit it within this space, you don't, you don't deserve me to handle that corner case. So I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> like seriously, seriously. <laughs> how 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 bad how bad is the naming on your project? Solve your paths, man. Solve solve your include paths, and then we'll talk, right? <laughs> okay. So, hmm. The problem we have is that uh, things are being swallowed up. 
So this is supposed to be string string and as you can see uh, things from it are being ripped out. That's not what we want and we know that this problem comes from this function. So let's try and fix it, right? Let's try and fix that. First and foremost, I guess that maybe I have to do space minus two. I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna try that first, okay? And make sure that the way I'm adding up to pad is consistent with what I've been doing. Oh, I get it, right? Right, 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 right. That makes perfect sense. So yeah, I was <laughs> because space, the the drawable space is not the the is not equal to the entire buffer, to the length of the entire buffer, right? And when we add to pad, we want to add the length of the entire buffer or sub buffer of the entire line, right? space has to be smaller because like I told you your starting position for drawing might be here and with cap you might limit that on the right like with a cap of 3 you have here and with a starting position of 4 you have it here right and this is the space you can draw in so space gives you that that drawable drawable space so we actually need to use the length of the baseline whenever we want to add up to pad so yeah <laughs> my bad so pad plus equals length of base so let's try this again and all right we're getting somewhere but not quite uh, well then let me just check for other instances of whatever okay this one's no good this one's definitely no good this one is repeating itself which doesn't make a whole lot of sense I don't remember what the original line is though it's swallowing up comas what why Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work either. Hmm. Yeah, this is just it's just madness. So sub position. I I would bet the way I calculated the position is wrong. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe a little. Maybe just a little. <sighs> so how, how, how? How, 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 how? Hmm. I guess I'm just going to write the entire line and then just print out the sub. And maybe that will give me an idea of what the hell is going on. Okay. All right. So this might give me an idea. So what? Okay. So we have only string segments in here. Only and only string segments. Except here, which doesn't make sense. I, uh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out later. But for the most part, we only have string segments. So, in order to better understand what is going on, I'm going to do something else. Okay? So, first off, 
just do this thing to... Uh, I'm going to use it as a separator. And yeah, this is Cape Man debugging. Of course. I'm going to Cape Man debug it. <sighs> there is no better way. <laughs> there is no better way, so... At this, I'm going to print the entire line. And now let's look at how that works. Okay. So, caveman debugging. And this is effective caveman debugging, alright? So, here we have our first problem. We're getting the string segment twice. We're getting the string segment twice. That's no good. That is no good. What in the name of almighty fuck is going on here? We are going to get to the bottom of this. We must get to the bottom of this. Right? Yes, we have to. We do not have a choice. And here... Right. Right, this one is the worst. This is wrapping this, and then, not good. Definitely not good. Yeah. Now, why, why do we have... Huh. Well, I mean, uh... If this is if this is not true, then we can just break. That's what we should do first and foremost. But um, yeah, that, that does nothing. So I mean, that's interesting. Why why do I have the same thing twice? Oh. All right. Okay. So it was a bad print, of course. Yeah, no. Because we're still So in practice, we're still getting <laughs> the string segment twice. That's no good. I mean, why? Why exactly? Hmm. And some of these are actually incomplete. I have no idea where this one came from. Huh. Oh, right, 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 now I get it. So it's this entire thing, then this, and then this. Uh... Nah, that doesn't make any sense. Now, no, you know what? What I'm going to do is instead of printing it uh, substring uh, by sub segment by sub segment, I'm just going to print the entire damn thing. So let's make a note of. Uh, I'm just going to record where the pad was here, right? So where the pad was. And then I want to do BX a pad up to right at, at beginning pad up to ending pad, I guess. Ending pad plus uh, plus length of base, right? So double pad. And we actually want to join that. Right, 
So let's try that. Okay. So here is the the entire line, and here is the the substring, right? Like the, the this the sub segment. Okay. Looks all right to me. this one all right so here we have a problem like what what, what is this what the fuck is this holy cow no, 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 no. if not length of segment just break uh, of course I don't have that. And, uh, ba, 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 ba. If and I would like to do it with bang, but of course I wouldn't have that. I mean, yeah. Why? Why not? Why not just make not instead of bang? Bang is so antiquated. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> why? Why is there no bang? God damn it. Ah. <sighs> I hate, I hate this world. <laughs> Not really, you know, but uh, so stupid. Okay. If not length of sub, then we break. And fuck you, pancakes. Okay. And um, yeah. Okay. So let's scroll back. To that one, which one was ah fuck me? Uh, why? That 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 is my only question. Why? An empty fucking segment. Why? Just why? Explain that to me. Uh, okay, let's just try this again. Oh, right. I know, I know. Hey, wait a fuck. No, 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 no. You're not gonna do me like that. <laughs> Alright, so maybe try this. No, no, you, you know what, I'm just going to do it raw. So, if sub equals nothing but a goddamn double quote, where is it, here, then just break, alright? Then get on my nerves. And yeah, I get it, I could do this in a smarter way, probably, but... <laughs> I've been coding since... I think 12 p.m. Now I'm going insane, so yeah, okay. That fixes it. Alright, good enough. You know. This is always a better way to do it. And you should aspire, you, sh you should totally aspire to do things in the best way possible, right? But sometimes the best way possible crushes your balls. And you do not want the best way possible to crush your balls, right? Not at that particular moment. And that's where I am right now. I know there are better ways to do it. I do not want my balls crushed, okay? So that's what. And actually, speaking of better ways that crush our balls, <laughs> it might be worth it to do this check before we try and, ex try and expand. Because we're expanding, uh, we, we, we're making an empty line uh, when there's just when the when the next sub is just going to be an empty. So uh, 
Let's see. This thing has already advanced sub position, so I can just sub position onwards. If length of sub position, if, if not length of sub position, and yeah, I, once again, bang, fucking bang, why not? God damn it. So if not length, alright, so if the next, um, if the next sub, the quote unquote sub segment is empty, just break. Alright, don't bust my balls. <laughs> don't, do not crush my balls. Sir, you do not have permission to crush my balls. Okay. Alright. So let's. Ah, fuck me. And now it's back again. Fucking shit. And yeah, you see, you see this, this is an empty line. And we're adding this empty line uh, because of uh, the thing, the thing, the famous thing. So yeah. Ah, okay. So I'm actually gonna have to check that it's less than one, I guess. Some dumb shit like that. Will it now work? No. It won't. So, what is the actual problem here? That's what I wonder. I'm gonna go back to this. I should probably next time start recording me coding when I'm not uh, at like the eight hour of just keyboarding away like a goddamn monkey. Because every time I record, I'm already tired. And this is going to bite me in the ass because people are going to look at my videos, at my coding videos, you know. Maybe, I, I don't really think so, but, you know, perhaps in the future someone looks at my coding videos and they go like, What? What's, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> but yeah. I am pretty tired. So, let me just cut this. And people ask me, why? Why do I have these things here it's because um, it helps me read the code I like to break it into smaller blocks so I can just uh, look at one thing as if it were one thing and you know in a sense it is so yeah um, <sighs> we're almost two hours in folks almost two hours in I think I've only been debugging this function for about half an hour. <laughs> like it shouldn't take me much longer, but <sighs> our problem is twofold. Our problem is twofold. I mean I can just check that uh, sub is just an empty double quote and break if it is and that solves the lonely double quote appearing here right but we have a bigger problem in that is empty lines look at this oh yeah it's an empty line fuck me you see, th you see this? This means this is all spaces. It put an entire fucking block worth of spaces just for nothing. Two blocks full of spaces. Fucking shit. 
That's really bad. That's really, really bad. We don't want that. So, what we need to do is know ahead of time, knowing ahead of time, whether there is a, um, how do you say, whether 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 there is a there is a segment ahead and just breaking out um, I'm sorry I'm so tired I'm I'm having trouble speaking <laughs> I'm I'm having trouble translating the thoughts into English okay so we need to look ahead in the sense of knowing whether the um, the next sub segment, the next string sub segment in our list of uh, let's say segments, <laughs> if that next sub segment is uh, basically a null string, right? If it's empty, we want to to skip. So actually, let's skip. I mean, I mean, I would use continue, but since this is only happening like right at the middle, I think I might be safe not doing that. Okay, let's try it. Let's just try it. Okay. So sub or or not length of sub. Hmm. Hmm. No, this is not going to work. Or 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 will 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 it work? Would it? Would it work? Okay. So no, definitely not. I need to determine. why that is happening I'm just going to do this so I need to know what triggers that I need to know oh yeah Like this additional line, no, 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 it should not be there. By the way, yeah, on the on on the side of uh, formatting is still fucked up. So let me take a look at this. So this is the line, right? This is the line itself. In all honesty, I don't see. Oh, I don't see some. Oh, sorry. I see nothing wrong with this. Like, um, why? Just why would this line produce this additional thing? It's so short. We don't. We shouldn't even be trying to split the line for this in the first place. So, hmm. Actually, let's take that into consideration. So, if not half string. Not has string and this is the important part. If not, wait, I want to um, get rid of one thing here. Yeah. Okay, right, so now we're rolling. So if has string, if not has string, or 
length of S is less than space. <laughs> right? Like, am I crazy? Of course I'm not. Well, not really. <laughs> I am quite crazy. But... Alright, so it's still taking this in. So this, this shit is fucking me up. Okay. Why does this make the program ask for two whole fucking lines? This whole thing? Just one is good. Just one. It's asking for just one. I <laughs> oh god. Oh god. And I mean, this is the entire thing. This is it. So, hmm. Let's actually look for that. Right, I'm gonna have to open up the original just to. Okay. So, it's. Tuck, tuck. Tuck. Is it like that? Yeah. Okay. Right. So this is the this is the entire line. Huh. Well that's interesting. Let me do this. Well, holy shit. It should give me the entire. It should be the entire line. Why, why is it not? Huh. Is it breaking the line? I'm, I am. I am sorry. I do not. How? Just how? This is crazy, man. This is this is some crazy shit. All right. I'm gang. Not not now. Now I'm uh, I'm intrigued. Now I'm intrigued for real. How does this happen? Because it's acknowledging, it's acknowledging that uh, the the string. Is uh is uh, bigger than space, so in a sense it is acknowledging that the actual it's this one that the actual line is all of this, right? But then <laughs> I, I I don't get it. It it's running twice. It's running twice. Fuck me. That's why. It's two segments. Ah, mother of God. I screwed this up. <laughs> I screwed this up real good. Okay, so. Right. Of course. Of course. I would fuck it up. That's just a given. So. Let's go down here. And here. Right. Give me a second. Okay. Huh. 
That's still not right. And it still has all this padding. But it's sort of okay. You go into here and okay. Yeah, of course this this wouldn't work. <laughs> of course. So yeah. Uh, fucking hell. So we we would have thought, right? The formatting code is not that easy. I mean, programmatically. Hmm. Uh, I know. I, I just realized. I just realized what happened. I just realized. Oh yeah. I just realized. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. So first and foremost. So all of this comes back to go to. Okay? All of this. All of this comes back to me not having go to. What's going on here? You tell me. I'm updating the string. I'm updating the string which contains the entire fucking string. If you can see here. Uh, So, I thought, like a fool, it'll just put a copy of that into no go to, right? And so, I can just, you know, go be happy about it and <laughs> I, can, I can just update this field and send the thing. Well. And of course, as long as I don't read the this local s from um from no go to, then it should be alright. But apparently I've done some mix up in there, and that's why it's automatically swallowing things. At least that's what I believe. You know what? Let's try. If it gives us the exact same thing on every run, then we know my theory is not true. Wait up, because I want to make sure that every time it runs, I get this same thing, right? So, so the string I have at the end has to be the same I have at the beginning, and yeah, apparently I do. But I think I'm gonna leave that there. But if we print this, and I'm just going to print it like that. Hmm. Ah, whatever. Gonna do it like this, you know, just just for testing. I know it's it's a, I know I could structure this better, but whatever. Okay. 
So something weird's going on here. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Give me a second. I just want to disable this. All right. Now we don't have quite as many weird things <laughs> just popping up, right? Okay. So. so. This one is okay. So let's look for the one that is broken, right? Let's look for the ones that are broken. This one doesn't seem like it is. All right, now what the fuck? I thought this was broken. It's not what it's printing out to the console. Then why is it what I'm seeing on the file? Yeah, right. Like this is this is not. This is not what I'm seeing on the console. Uh, just let me find which one it is. Invalid token sequence. Right? Like, yeah, it, it swallowed up this entire thing. Why? Why in the name of fuck would you do that? Oh, uh, because I'm printing S. Oh, what a fool. Okay, now. All right, so it is broken. Okay. It is broken. All right. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah, you can see how broken it is. Okay. Uh, two hours, 15 minutes. My, my brain is a spaghetti. Hell yeah. So, number one. The duplicates are not gone. That is a problem. This shit? Yeah. Not gonna work, Chief. Definitely not gonna work. I'm gonna need this part, and I'm gonna need this part. Alright. So it's like it it's discarding things. It's discarding things, but I cannot tell why. It does have a blank print there, so I can no actually let's not make it blank. Let's do something like this. Whatever. So I can know what uh what everything is, okay? I'm telling you, man. Let's, um, yeah, let's ignore this one. Okay. So I'm trying to get a grasp of what the hell is going on. And here's the here's the problem in a nutshell. It's giving us the string segments duplicate duplicated and never the code segments hmm why would that be i would guess it's something to do with this right <clears throat> so these are all beginning and the uh, end points for all of these piece of shit and so <coughs> I'm dying I'm dying la 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 
dying. La, 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 la. Okay, don't clip that. So. Hmm. Okay. Looks like to me I misconfigured this. Right. Oh, what the hell is switch them around? But we know it's not going to work, but now it has a reason to be duplicated, so it's it's behaving as if I had done that. Which is interesting, I guess. I mean, for fuck's sake, just... Let's see. Yeah, it shows up normally. And, um... Oh, right. Oh, no. Oh, no, wait. Forget it. Well, fuck me. That would be... Yeah. Fuck me. That's that's the best way to put it. Now, all right. So, I'm going to I'm going to I'm gonna have to print the entire fucking buffer just to tell what the hell is going on. Okay. So that clears it up. <laughs> okay. So. The string segment. For some fucked up reason that I am not willing to try and understand, even after I told it to just, you know, generate another section, go forward, do all of that, doesn't fucking care, and instead just goes on ahead. Okay. So obviously, you know, I get mad, but it's my fault, I get it. Alright. Alright. Let's just get back that, put that back there. Right. So, fill string does not forward. Fill string does not forward. I thought it did, but it doesn't. Okay. Isn't that fun? Right? Isn't that fun? God damn it. Like, uh, uh, fuck me, you know. Just fuck me. I'm gonna. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> uh, if I had go to, and I didn't have to be passing these things around like a fool, or if I had structs, which are, you know, the convenient way to do this kind of shit. And not writing a goddamn fucking class or data class because fuck data classes, then I wouldn't have to juggle things in this non standard way and get confused. So, what do I think? Fuck you? Yes, of course. Very much. Anyhow. God damn it with this piece of shit. And I'm just going to revert it at the end. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Why not? What could go wrong, no? Fucking hell.
Okay. All right. Good. Yeah, of course. Of course it's out of range. And this is happening in... 183. Okay. Just let me get the editor out. 183. What? What? Are you shitting me? Index out of range? What? Go to. I need go to. Go to. I need go to. Okay, so why? Was position not properly updated or what? I would guess position plus pad is not as big as so I just. I mean, but I, I don't. I isn't this a fucking? Uh, oh no! I need a bounce check on this shit. All right. Just going to end. Pass plus pad is not greater than land B X. Fuck you, piece of shit. Just let me format my code. All right. <sighs> Still doesn't work. <laughs> oh no! Wait, this one works, kind of. It seems to be still duplicating, but okay. So let's have a look at that. All right. So it's still duplicating, and for some reason, getting rid of the um, of like the other section, which doesn't make sense. Let's take a look at it. Let's actually print the buffer and see how that looks. Okay. So there's the callout and a whole bunch of space which is not used, and this is next line. Wait, what? Oh, so this is uh, an actual new line, okay. This is the string itself. Up to here, bunch of spaces, add the actual new line. And nothing. It has this blank. Nothing. All right, so that's the whole string. Why is it? What? It's storing the same thing twice. Like, 
I don't get why. Oh, fuck me. No go to. Okay. Don't bother with this. That's that's sad. I'm done. Okay. Go to his life, kids. Go to his life. So, yeah, I had to update a field. That's all. <laughs> uh, I mean, fucking shit. If they had let me just put a goddamn label on the thing, then I wouldn't have this problem. So yeah. Like, I, 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 I would have never done this with two different functions. I would have done one function with labels so I can move around. But I cannot do that because this is Python. And so because I don't have labels to move around, I have to use functions to move around. But that means that I have to move the arguments around. And I don't want to do a data class because data class are fucking gay. And I don't want to do classes because classes are even more gay than that. So yeah, of course I'm not going to do that. And yeah, I know, I use gay as a, as a pejorative. Like, go fuck yourself, I don't care. I'll say whatever I want. But anyhow... Um, yeah, okay, so let's just run this thing, okay, good, I have some prints here I need to address, so yeah, I'm printing the code segment here, so let's just print, 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 okay, good, there's nothing, let's just run this shit and verify that the formatting is correct. And, I mean, I would put the thing here, right? And, you know, this is serviceable. Like I said, this is serviceable. Mother of God, I, I, say, I said the data class is a gay, and now someone is going to clip that. And it will haunt me for the rest of my days, yeah. Data class is a gay, okay? I stand by that statement. And I will not back down. No. <laughs> I'm just joking around, you know. I'm just joking around. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to be fucking gay, you can be fucking gay, you know. <laughs> it's none of my business. So, all right. Uh, this. Oh my fucking god! This is wrong on so many levels. Ah oh my fucking god! Why? Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Because of this shit. So whenever it finds a brace, it ups one level, and whenever it, up, it encounters case, it ups one level. Well, not actually, but in practice, yes. So there was a way to handle this. Uh, let me see if I can find it. So it should be like that, maybe. Nope. Still broken. Hmm. So put the equals there. So 
for level plus this piece of shit. I'm pretty sure I had a pretty 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 sure I had a way to handle this. Yeah, here it is. Oh no, it's missing the, the check for brace. Like where I was checking for... So I need to check for both uh, curly brace and the uh, case default in the same line. Uh, in the same um, thing, uh, stuff thing, doesn't matter. Um, I think this was the other way around. Okay, so that's a wrap. So we have case indentation, that's good. Um, let's see, does the... Oh, my god. That means at least <laughs> no, um, no unclosed uh, parentheses, um, brace, bracket, or a quote, double quote, that my editor can detect so that's okay you know my editor it's notepad plus plus by the way <laughs> it's not mine mine is still a work in progress so yeah you're not gonna see it for some time and yeah I forgot this uh, sometimes I'm browsing to the editor and I have the console up and you see the console and I'm seeing the editor and I think you see what I see but you don't see what I see because obviously I forget my hotkeys you know like send me some fucking money I'll buy a second uh, like a second monitor and then I will have like I'll be able to just project onto that and see what you see but until then <sighs> you just have to deal with this okay so I want to look. I want to, I want to find the point where this um, thing used to break. Ah, here it is. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't break there anymore. I would like to probably stress test that thing right I would like to stress test that thing but for now this is good enough and just for comparison why not let's go into the original and let's go to the top and you can see right this is this is what this does this is what it does Right, it takes the code and it fits it to a smaller page size. That's all it does. Right. But in doing oh well, and it uh, reformats the the comment box. Yeah, it does do that, but yeah, apart from that. So why fit already existing code to a smaller page size? Because um, I changed my font. That, that's that's all there is to it. I changed my font and I like this font better than I what I used to to use. And so yeah, in order to see this font properly, I need to zoom in. And zooming in means I have a smaller page size. And I said, well, I'm not going to reformat my entire code base by hand. No way. So let's just have a program to do it for me. So yeah, as you can see. And I'm actually going to just, oops, yeah, not a good idea, there. 
and you can see that's that's all it's doing. It's, that's better, maybe. Uh, let's see. Let's take val took 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 and took and took 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 it took it took took. Oh yeah, smaller page size and also a different uh, indentation level, but that's that's easier to sort out, right? And yeah, it's, as you can see, I do a lot of this aligning and it destroys that because, like I said before, it's a little bit of a nightmare to check for it. But I really do think I should force the, the program to do those alignments, but it will require uh, multiple passes. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. Okay. How much can I? How farther can I go? All right, that's that's a lot. All right, I don't like it there. There. Yeah, that's that's how I like it. Okay. So let's clear up this mess. And um, actually, two hours and 40 minutes, I'm going to log off for the day. All right. I'm tired. I'm tired as shit. But we did it. And so that's, uh, that's all in a day's work, right? So, okay. We have a good way to format our code. What's next? Uh, well, we need to format our code, but better, right? So that, that's the idea. Uh, we write something that works, and then we build on what works. Okay. So probably next up, I will be looking at uh, the aligning, and that is going to make my life miserable, or maybe not. But yeah, I, I, I'll probably look into making it like a multi-pass thing and just taking notes and making one big uh, big old structure full of data in order to uh, handle it better so hmm yeah maybe I'll do it maybe not probably not uh, I think this is good enough so yeah okay thanks for watching goodbye